Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Morpheus. Just kidding. It's me, Justin. Uh, real quick video today, just dropping an update on some of the sites. Uh, mostly because I wanted to do this tomorrow on Friday, you know, but it's Thursday. It's the Marine Corps birthday today. So I'm going to be celebrating uh, by indulging in beverages. And tomorrow's Veterans Day. So I'm going to indulge and be a glutton and try to get as many free meals as possible for these gains. You know what I mean? So here's some tidbits, whatnot, perhaps, but mostly just website updates. So check this out. I'm going to scooch my grape over a little bit. Boom. So let me scooch over a little more. Bam. First site right here. This is the, the first programmatic site I made. It's, it's doing well. The problem that I'm facing with this site is monetization. Uh, it continually gets, well, continually. I, I was applying for AdSense around here, continue to get denied, denied, denied. So I stopped and said, I got to figure out another way to make money from this site. I think display ads are going to be the best way, like full stop. It's, that's it. The, the, the audience is not really one to, you know, spend much money. That's not, the site is not, you know, a, a it's not, they're not looking to purchase shit. You know what I mean? I feel like I got a crosshair on my forehead there. Um, now I got a bigger one. So yeah, I need to get display ads on there. If, if I get denied by AdSense, I'll probably apply again sometime in the middle of, uh, or towards the end of the month, maybe, uh, in December, uh, once the traffic starts going a little bit better, but I can't be too upset. I think I'm still on the pathway to 300 organic visitors in the first 30 days, which is very promising. Uh, on the right hand side, there are screenshots from SEMrush. Uh, the top one is this site, as you can see, 268 clicks in the last, uh, I don't know, 26, 27 days or so. And the, of course, the the last uh, data point is incorrect because it's it's not fully updated or whatever, you know, the data is incomplete, blah, 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 from GSC. So... It's getting all these clicks, but nothing's showing up in SEMrush, which is a good sign um, because the bottom screenshot there is quote unquote competitor, quote, uh, not really competitor because I'm not competing yet, uh, but l probably the only other site in the niche. Uh, they have display ads on their site, AdSense, presumably just based on the uh, Google disclaimer. <laughs> But if their traffic, you know, mimics mine at all, they're getting a shitload more than what is showing up in the uh, estimations here. Uh, the, the additional difference between their site and my site is they're only they're only looking at about four thousand uh, entities, whereas I'm doing like twenty eight thousand. So hopefully it uh, it all goes well. Uh, hopefully I can get some display ads on the site from some network, not AdSense. And I'll try to go for some like terrible third party, something or other, just to get something on there, something live, something where it's just making money. And I don't have to try to convince anybody to buy anything or convince anybody to try to, you know, do any transactions. They just come to the site. I make money. Worst comes to worst. I might just put a crypto miner on the site or something dumb like that. You know, I mean, some way to make some scratch. Um, so there's the first site. The bottom two are. Okay, and also on the first site, it was a brand new domain, uh, no no history, no nothing like that. Uh, the second site here, that is the second attempt at programmatic, uh, and this is only the posts that are uh, or are new that were created um, this way, and it finally got a click. Woohoo! Uh, you know, it's only been a week and some change, so definitely not expected to. Do you know, perform any better, but, uh, couldn't be, couldn't be, can't be upset. Can't be happy. It's just, uh, it's, I'm indifferent to it. Uh, the site was not brand new. It was a, a an experimental site that I started like a year and some change ago, maybe less than a year ago, uh, with hundred percent AI content on it. It was all AI, maybe like, maybe like, uh, 95 posts or so. And the only thing I would do is I'd kind of create the outline. Uh, and then I just run it, run through Jasper and just run it, generate, generate some information for me. And I clean it up with Grammarly and publish, uh, pretty, pretty lackluster results. Um, 
that's what it is. <laughs> no big deal. But I figured, you know what, instead of trying to register a new domain, I'll just use that one. It fits the bill. It kind of somewhat related. It works. Uh, and it's getting some kind of traffic. Um, the site does have AdSense already. Um, it was already running ads on the site. So that's good. Uh, once these programmatic pages start taking off, then probably make some more money from that. In addition to the affiliate offers uh, in those programmatic pages. They're not exactly pretty. They're pretty, pretty ugly. Matter of fact, uh, I would not like <laughs> if somebody found that I'd be like, yeah, it's not my side. I don't know. I can't claim that. I can't call it. Um, but you know, it's working. And then the last site is the site that I registered and started putting content on back in 2017. It's basically made enough money every month to cover the cost of, uh, the domain registration. It's a pretty cool domain. Um, domain name uh, and the the programmatic pages on there completely unrelated but i was like you know what i'm just gonna put them on the site there has been a single new post on that on that site since 2018 run it whatever completely couldn't be well it could be further but topically not at all similar but uh they're starting to show up a little bit some of those pages and uh hopefully we'll see some great results from that uh, there is a Zoic on that site. I, for whatever reason, I can't remember, I can't figure out why, uh, for the second site, Zoic won't work on it. It's just some silly configuration stuff. I'm sure if I just started over and, you know, read it, everything would work, but I, I'm not that invested. <laughs> uh, the cool thing about the last one, I think one of those pages got like one page view in like the, the EMPV, what is it? EMPV? EMP, yeah. EMPV, I think whatever you know what i'm talking about it's like 44 dollars, and i was like granted i know i shit ain't gonna be consistent but i was like all right cool one visitor and i made four cents woohoo uh anyway so that's uh that's updates on the few sites the third the fourth site the big one the big one trademarked it's not really trademarked i don't know whatever um that is i literally just pushed those pages live maybe on the sixth maybe the fifth not quite sure uh, nothing they're not even they're not even showing up in the site map as far as or they're showing up in the site map. They're not being, you know, shown in Google Search Console at all. So that's gonna probably be another week before they start even getting impressions. Woo! And if you want, I did create this. It's so, it's so bad. It's not at all like it's such a low priority as far as doing this. But if you go on my website, my first name, my last name dot com, there is a. I, I I just plugged in the uh, search console into Google Data Studio, which is now called like Look Looker Studio. I've never I don't know they changed that like a month or two ago, but so you can follow along. If I never update uh, this again, well, there's the first sites Google Search Console right there. There's a lot of information that's not there. You know, you're just gonna get like clicks, impressions, that kind of thing. You're not gonna get the actual keywords. You're not gonna get the name. Hopefully, uh, hopefully. You know, one of you, one of you nerds can't, you know, dive in and, and figure out how to get that information, but, uh, but it's there. Uh, and like I said, it's Marine Corps birthday today. And this is just a picture of me getting yucky with the boys in Thailand uh, back in 2011. I don't know who any of these motherfuckers are, but that's register and that's me. And we're drinking like 28, 32 ounce beers. Good Lord. Anyway. So some of the next things I'm going to be investing in and uh, just like the offspring, I'm going to keep these programmatic sites separated from my kind of long form content type sites. So once you start making money, then I'll start investing and in, in making them better. Yeah, it's probably going to, um, you know, I'm hmm, not shooting myself in the foot, but I'm sure, you know, investing earlier would be better. But you know what? Hey. I, whatever experiments, they're all experiments. So, uh, first one would be like a featured image generator right now. I'm basically using either this. Yeah. No, I, I am using basically the same image for every single programmatic page. Um, and I don't think that's going to be bad. Uh, cause I don't expect them to get shared or anything like that. I don't even have, I don't even know if I do have the featured image on the post, but they're like, uh, I don't have it. So it's like, title and then the whole image right there right below it i have it so it's uh the featured image is small and to the like corner um that way it's text right away there's an image there but right in the text um 
but I would like to actually have images created, but there's no way in hell I'm getting 24,000 images created. Like that would be insane. So, uh, somebody recommended, I don't know, Placid, uh, basically it'll generate images for you based on like title or other things. I haven't really looked too far into it yet, but I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go with that. Um, it can generate featured images, $249 a month for a hundred thousand images created every month. And that's the plan I would need because it takes a week, maybe I'd say two weeks to get like a whole batch of content created and be able to be pushed out. Uh, so hundred thousand images created for that. I mean, 249 bucks a month. That's really not for again, 25,000 images like, like that. That's great. That's perfect. Uh, I will have to see like how those are stored. Cause I do not want, you know, 25,000 images just in my media file, uh, in WordPress, it'd be very difficult to, to, to manage. Uh, so we'll see if not, honestly, using one images for all of them, use one image for all the posts. It's not kind of, it's not that big of a deal. Again, this whole thing is like, fuck SEO where we're going freestyle. We're just, we're just creating. Um, additionally, I think advanced custom fields would be very beneficial to have for, uh, programmatic sites, but I don't really want to learn how to use that. I mean, I know it's not terribly difficult, but as far as formatting it and making things look pretty and nice and, you know, boom, 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 boom. I'm going to have some nerd do it. Like I'm not, I, I don't, I don't care enough to learn. <laughs> like I know the whole, like, Oh, learn how to use everything. And like solo blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, that's cool and all, but guess what? I got shit to do. Cause I imagine, I imagine that once things start rolling, they're probably going to start rolling very fast. Um, you know, six months from now, like this, uh, I, I'll be able to get a brand new chair. You know, this chair is really nice. It's like $450 chair. It's big. It's comfy. It's built for me sitting in it for 10 to 12 hours a day. But you can't see it because resolution so shitty. My cat likes to use it as a fucking scratching post when I go to bed. So it's pretty beat up. I've only had it for like six months. Uh, it's comfy still. It's not bad. But man, it's it's that leather ain't fucking complete anymore. Um, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, get some nerd to do advanced custom fields, uh, for me and perhaps, perhaps get a traps. Oh, I don't pay for any like keyword tool, um, uh, right now. Usually, uh, historically I would pay for like a month at a time and then just cancel. Cause I get what I needed. I don't care about tracking keywords because my whole shtick, I guess, has been just like, keep going. I, I don't care, uh, if once one post or page loses rankings, cause I got, you know, 10 more in the pipeline that will get rankings. You know what I mean? So perhaps get Ahrefs, uh, just to publish some regular ass articles. Uh, <laughs> again, like Trojan horse stuff where, you know, I think the reason this first site well, I keep getting denied like, oh, you need X, you need Y. Then the last one was like, oh, it's thin content. It's like, well, no shit, it's thin content. It's fucking 24,000, 44,000 pages. Ain't no way anybody writing 44,000 pages. Um, so I think what I'll need to do for that is have like, or get like 20, 30 articles created. Uh, I mean, I, I have been doing that with like complete AI because I don't, I don't, they don't want, they don't need to rank. They don't, they don't need to get traffic. They don't need to get eyeballs. They're just there to have something on the site besides the best dog food for Trollos, the best dog food for German Shepherds, the best dog food for whatever, move down the line for every single fucking breed of dogs in the world. Something top 10 tips for training your dog, not to piss on the carpet or something. Uh, <laughs> so get some regular ass articles. And again, yeah, the AI is cool, but Hey, if I can get, you know, 20, 1200 word articles that, Hey, could bring us some traffic or whatever. And then kind of guide those like internally linked to other pages. 
that are more uh, money oriented, we could say. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Just get those rolling. Uh, but again, yeah, we'll see. Perhaps again, this is down the line. This is six months, six months from now when the, all these all these sites are getting like fifty thousand clicks per day. Uh, and then we'll start uh, looking at everything out like that. I think that's it. Is that it? That's it. That's all we got. Peace.